A couple of days ago, I commented on what I think are the 5 worst things of Cyberpunk 2077. Now it's time to look at the other side of this coin and see what Cyberpunk 2077 did right, so come with me. On number 1 for this list, I actually have a duo the score and the soundtrack. If you don't know the difference, the score is the sound that accompanies the scenes, giving them rhythm and emotion, while the soundtrack is a compilation of the songs that are played during the experience. The score comes with about 8 hours of music, and the game engine managed to deliver it just in the right moments. The otherwise noisy sounds of the cars and people get overpowered by the exciting music playing on key moments throughout the game. This effect is probably my favorite of the whole game, and it helps give the right emotion of each part of the story. Another strong feature of the game is the original soundtrack. Even with the safe mode enabled where the game disables a portion of the not copyright friendly songs, I still wouldn't get the feeling of listening to the same songs over and over even after 80 hours of playing the game. The selection is diverse and covers multiple genres, which for me is a plus. On number 2, there is the city itself and world building. Even though I agree that the NPC's response to the environment can cripple this aspect of the game, when playing on max graph settings, the game has countless of wow moments. Just to name a few, we have the moment where you're driving back with, uh, to Watson with Jackie under heavy rain. You're not, you're not, you're not just any other city. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. If we we're just there chatting about the city, watching the scene, it is just mind blowing for me. The parade was also really impressive. During the middle of the quest, I stopped doing what I was doing and just stare at it. Just, just start to look around and get amazed by the city. There were so many levels, both above and below, and the place was packed with people, and the whole scene was so goddamn beautiful. I could go on here on those little moments, but even when you're free roaming, the buildings, the streets, the alleys, there's so many details. i never seen anything like this ever before on any game. <laughs> Moving on to number 3, the graphical quality, especially on the characters actually. When playing on max settings again, there is no arguing that how the characters look are simply stunning. Not only the main characters like Jackie or Judy, but also the less important ones like the bouncers of the mox bar or even the receptionist of the clouds. To illustrate my point, I did a short montage with some posts from the subreddit in Night City Fashion as well as some of my own, so check it out. into number 4 now, the main story. I will try my best not to spoil anything here, but damn, this story is good. It's mostly dark and it will touch on many sensitive subjects like organ harvesting, PTSD, suicide, terrorist, and the list goes on. The dialogue's writing is incredible and the voiceover acting is very consistent and can deliver the emotions needed. One critique though is the main story is mostly linear and that could definitely throw some people off. There are only a couple of choice that will impact the, the story outcome, but that is not necessarily a bad thing once you understand and accept the game concept. Dialogue options are mostly here to allow the player to roleplay the stone, but the actions and outcomes are more or less on rails. I see plenty of critiques saying that Cyberpunk lacks RPG-ness because of it, but hey, I think you're missing the key point of roleplaying. That's exactly what you're doing here, you're playing the role 
of a mercenary who has a particular path to betrayal. I don't know, I don't get why people confuse that if it's a roleplay play game, you have to have those like branching options all the time. It's not necessarily true. Either way, just, just think that you're, you're like an actor following a script rather than a writer like doing the screenplay. This is how cyberpunk works, at least on the main quest, which leads to number five, these side quests. For me, here is the where the game truly shines. Like most of them are very non-linear, where you can actually choose the outcome of what's gonna happen. And there's countless mini arcs that follow some fascinating characters that you meet during the main quest. In my opinion, the best storytelling and missions are among those side ones. Again, without any spoilers, they touch on some dark themes like serial killers, psychopaths, child abuse, mental disorders, prostitutions, and so on. But in the end, they're all about telling the story of someone. Someone who, after completing all the missions, usually can build an interesting connection with them. I was trying to pick a favorite here, but I really love them all. Like the Reavers arc is amazing. Uh, the Perales arc is also really good. Even the Delman arc is something else. Either way, before I wrap up this, I just would like to add an honorable mention to this list, which is the endings. I'll try to be as generic as possible, but if you haven't finished the game yet, maybe close the video right now just in case. All right, if you're still here, it's up to you. I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't like them at first. Like I felt I felt empty and I don't know, I didn't like the bittersweetness or grayness of the endings and I did all of them. But after a while, I finally understood that there was nothing wrong with them. Like problem was on me. I, I don't know, it, it made me wonder and think about my life. I mean, just ignore V's backstory for a moment and think what you'll do. Would you rather spend a few more months with the ones you love, like your mom, your wife, your kids, knowing that it would all end soon? Or would you choose to live possibly forever in a future, maybe slash reality, where you'd be a complete stranger and all your loved ones would be already dead? There isn't a right or wrong answer here, but this is deeply personal for each one of us. Either way, this game story and endings got me thinking for days and it still deeply touch me. In the end, this is what art is all about, right? Like triggering emotions. All right, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know what you think are the things that Cyberpunk 2077 got right. This is probably gonna be the last video from me of 2020, but fear not, I will see you soon, Chumba. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time.